Foods of Africa, a company based in Habane, Botswana, a few kilometers from the capital of Haboroni, known as the home of Marula, they found a niche in producing organic products using indigenous fruits found in the wild, like the Marula wild fruits. From Marula fruits, they produce various products such as sticks, jam, juice, and others. Their products range also include other products made from wild fruits such as mellow juice and melon jam. My name is Taro. I'm working here at Wild Foods as marketing manager. Wild Foods of Africa has become a form of empowerment and livelihoods to the local community of Habane and neighboring villages. For someone to be our harvester, we have, we have to go, go through a training. At the buying point, we, oh, we, make, we make sure that we inspect each and every time before we start uh, uh, buying fruits. After every two weeks, first two weeks of January, we do a personal training to all our groups and register new harvesters. We want our products to be natural and organic. We don't take any fruit that we come across. We want fruits that are found on the wild, not fruits that are found maybe in a, in a farm. Because in a farm, so, so many things can happen. We may find that the, the there could be some pesticides that, 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 that were used on that farm or even insecticides. To ensure good quality and safe products, there are several stages from harvest to market where the company is involved. At the factory, we will find, we'll find the fruit warehouse manager who will be receiving the, the, the fruits to do the cross-checking. Uh, after doing the cross-checking, that's when the fruit will be separated. Green will be mixed with the green ones. Yellow will be mixed with the yellow ones, and the half ripe one will be mixed with the half ripe ones. Then after that, that's when we take the yellow fruits. Then we start our processing. They will first go to, for cleaning. That's the stage number one with a water tap. After a water tap, they will go through the blancher. At the blancher, that's where we do disinfection. We find that there is water, which is uh, about uh, 100 degrees. If we have to do pulp miners, pulp miners will have to go to, to the next stage where we find that there is a brush pulper where we will, we will separate the skins, the puree in, in, in different containers. We find that the, 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 the puree will be, will, be, uh, will be spilling from the bottom channel where we normally put a bucket, then the skin will be at the front, next to, still next to the machine. So in a situation like that, we'll be preparing the puree and the pulp miners. The, the puree we normally use when we do the fruit leather. The fruit leather, we find that it is the, the sticks, the, uh, the roll the, and the twill. Then for pulp miners, normally we, 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 we use pulp miners to, to make fruit jam. Could be mixed fruit jam, could be the jam that Marula jam, the one that we sell in the shops. And uh, af after we have packed the pulp miners, we take it to the blast free, then we'll be ready to, the pulp will be ready to, to do any product that will be be, that will be in demand by that time. It takes hard work, patience and precision to come up with the market-friendly products. If it is the production for, for, for the fruit leather, the fruit leather is a cold is where we, we do cold processing. We don't use heat on, on, on those products. We find that uh, after after blending, the, that will, there will be some big trays where 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 we, where we, where we spread the the, the 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 pulp and the sugar. We will spread that on inside the tray. After the tray, we make sure that we level that. After we level, so that our production looks smooth and and, and, and formal, as you can see it here. Uh, after that, that's when we are going to take the the the, the, uh, the, the tray in, and put it inside the trolley. Inside the trolley, we find that they could be packed up up to nine, depending on the space on the, on the trolley. Then it will be put inside the tunnel and inside the drain tunnel. From the drain tunnel. It will take some, some days. After, after days, it will be come out in form of leather. We call it fruit leather because of the way it looks like when it comes out. 
it will be a sheet that you can just lift and wave it like this to not tear apart. After all this, uh, this production or the packing, the products will have to go through the metal detector. That's where we check if there are any foreign bodies there. Could be a metal, could be a plastic. They have to go through that. After, after they have been checked for that, that's when they will be packed inside packs. That we, that, that we find that normally we pack them 20, uh, per, uh, 20, per, per, 20 per pouches per pack. That, that's when they will, be go, they will go to the cold room. Hard work pays. Now the products are ready for market.